Hey there, welcome back. This is the final video of this series. In this video, we will do a quick wrap up on everything we have covered so far in this series. So first off, great job if you have made it this far. I hope you feel a lot more confident now in using WebDriver.io. So let's talk about what we covered in this series. So we started off with doing an introduction on WebDriver.io and why you should use it. Then we did some basic installation and configuration to get our test up and running. From there, we moved on to writing a test from scratch. This is where the fun part began. Here we got familiar with the syntax and wrote our first test. After that, we covered how we can use expect assertions to validate our test. And then on the advanced side, also learned how we can use chai assertion for any custom validation that we may need to do. Then we moved on to see how we can scale our framework using page object model and its design pattern. We also looked at how to utilize hooks in our test to handle setup and teardown logic, as well as learned how to deal with flaky test by adding wait commands. We also learned how to optimize our test framework by implementing helper functions and resource file to store all our hardcoded test. We also learned how to use ES6 with our test by integrating Babel compiler with our test. After that, we covered how to run tests on multiple browsers and also how to do parallel testing using Selenium standalone service to really speed up our test. Then we dived into reporting and learned about Alia reports. And we generated beautiful reports using Alia and even learned how we can customize them if needed. As well as we also learned how to attach screenshot to our report anytime our test failed. From there, we moved on to see how we can integrate our test with browser stack to take advantage of all the various devices and operating system it provides. And finally, we learned how we can integrate our test with Jenkins and generate JUnit reports within Jenkins. Alright, so we covered quite a lot in this series. And once again, if you have made it through all of this, great job. The best part is you can use this principle for any kind of test automation framework you would like to implement in future. The basics would just remain the same. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this series, please make sure to like the videos and subscribe to my channel to keep watching more content like this. Also let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to cover any different topics either related to WebDriver IO or some other test automated related videos. That's it for this video folks, I will see you in the next series.